Hey everybody and welcome back to the Techmoto channel and the electronics playlist. Today we're going to be looking at these components. Um, this is called a reed switch. Um, the reed switch is basically two pieces of metal that sit next to each other like this. And when you put a magnet next to it, it draws them together, making an electrical connection, switching uh, it on so that the current can flow through uh, the component. Um, it is uh, simple in its elegance. It is, it is just a beautiful component, very, very useful. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use it just quickly. Um, so the reed switch has a glass housing on it, which you have to be incredibly careful of. If you just bend the legs, you end up fracturing the edge of the reed switch. And so what you must make sure you do when you're bending the legs is just grab carefully the edge of the reed switch with a pair of pliers and bend the leg over. And that just protects the glass from breaking. And if you're going to put this in and out any application, you need to make sure that this reed switch is protected in some way. Um, because it is quite fragile. Now I'm going to put it into our breadboard across the gap in the middle of the breadboard like this so that those two legs are not connected together and then as we have done in similar videos we're going to connect our uh, 9 volt PP3 battery to one side of the switch and then to the power rail over here. We're going to take uh, a resistor to protect our LED and drop that in there. And then we're gonna take our LED, making sure the long leg goes towards the positive, and we're gonna drop that in there across to the negative line. So what we've got is PP3 battery, negative line here, coming down the power rail, through the LED, through the resistor, through the reed switch, and back to the positive. Now it's not doing anything at the moment because these two reeds are separated. There's a huge resistance between those two reeds, so nothing's happening. If I put a magnet near this, it draws them together, throwing the switch, which allows the current to flow through the LED. Now, for the life of me, I couldn't find a magnet, but I do have a speaker, and a speaker does have a magnet on the back of it. So if I bring this speaker towards the reed switch, you can see there's quite a distance between these. If I get it in the right position, you see how the light comes on when I get close to it. That's quite a distance away from it, um, but an incredibly useful um, component. And if you listen really carefully, you can actually hear it clicking. If you like this video, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you want to see some more videos on electronic theory. I'm trying to go through uh, as many components and uh, electronic principles as I can on this channel. Um, please do throw me some comments if there's something specific you'd like me to cover, um, and I'll do that for you. All right, I'll catch up with you soon.